Hey, sorry again. I know that the shopping list I gave you ended up being pretty long. I wish I could have gone instead. I have no idea what these people at work would do without me. Don't worry about it. You couldn't have planned for that. How are you supposed to know they were going to call you into work? It's all good. Thanks. I just hate that I had to get you to go for me last second. At least that will be one of the last things we need to get done. Are you already back home? Yeah, I just got back. I think I got everything, but you might want to double check when you get back. It would be a real headache if we noticed something was missing in the middle of our honeymoon trip. Right? Don't worry, I will. I think I might just cry if something goes wrong after everything we've done to prepare. LOL. I'll check it out as soon as I get back later. Sounds good. You already have your passport ready, right? We went together last week to get all of that ready. Remember? We also have a credit card we can use over there and plenty of cash. Everything's looking good so far. No need to worry about any of that. Alright, so I guess I'll be bringing the pocket Wi-Fi? Wait, I forgot to buy some of that medicine for motion sickness. I already bought some and I noticed we were running low. I just forgot to tell you. It should be in the medicine cabinet. Did you already check there? Oh, I found it. Thanks. There's no way I was about to be getting on that plane without it. Yeah, I knew you might forget it. And I didn't want you throwing up on me. By the way, did you get the French phrase book I showed you the other day? The one that has some common phrases for traveling. It looked like it could be really useful. No, I didn't think we'd need it. It should be fine, right? You can speak French good enough. You've been studying for a while now, right? I'm sure you'll do fine with casual conversations. Well, yeah, but what about you? What if we get separated or something? Or what if you just want to do something on your own? I'll think of something when the time comes. I can figure something out. I should be able to just use my phone or something, right? I'll be fine. Translation apps have probably gotten good enough that I can just use one of them for most situations. Do you really want to talk to someone you're face to face with through your phone? I mean, you still have a whole week before we leave. There's plenty of time to learn the very basics at least. Like how to introduce yourself or ask for directions, stuff like that. Why don't you just try studying some? I can even help you and it'll only take like 30 minutes a day. Nah, I swear, I'll be fine. Plus, I've always been bad with foreign languages. You don't even want to know what my grades look like in high school Spanish. Even if I tried, I'd probably only be able to like remember bonjour or however you say it. I'm glad you can think you can rely on me. But you never know what's going to come up. What if you get lost? I think it would be pretty convenient if you at least know basic French. It's not like anyone will judge you, even if you make some mistakes. They'll just appreciate that you're trying. I really think you should give it a shot. It'll be fun too, I promise. I'll even help you. Maybe? I guess we'll have to see. I'll have to see it to believe it. I've grown all too used to that kind of attitude from you. Remember when you said you were going to help me plan this vacation? You barely did anything. You really need to work on your ability to commit to things. Do you know how hard it was to get everything together on my own? Hey, that's why I'm helping buy stuff. And I did other stuff too. I found the hotel, didn't I? Yeah, but those are literally the only things you helped with. I'm not complaining. I'm just pointing out that it's something you need to work on. Come on, don't ruin the mood. This is supposed to be our reward for finishing our wedding planning. It's almost like a little pre-honeymoon. <laughs> There's no point in getting upset about what's already happened. I know, I know. I'm looking forward to it. But even then, I was the one who planned most of our wedding. I've decided on the place. Is that not going to be enough for me? No, and I also wanted to be part of that decision. You're the one who insisted on taking responsibility for the venue. 
Whatever, I'm not trying to argue about it. I was just trying to show you that I do help. You should have said something back then. We can't do anything about it now. Let's just focus on having a good time. Don't let all of our preparation go to waste, okay? Alright, fine. I really don't want to let this ruin our trip. So let's just move on. Exactly. You need to stop worrying so much and just have a good time. You're way too stressed. And why do you think I'm getting stressed out like this? Whose fault do you think this is? Do you think it's my fault? My bad. I didn't mean it like that. All I'm saying is that we can't go with you in this kind of mood. My parents are gonna be coming too, you know. What do you think they're going to think about you if you're acting like this the whole time? You're really gonna ruin the vibe if you're like this the whole trip. Wait a minute. What do you mean your parents are coming? Where exactly? The vacation. Um, what does that mean? Are they going on some kind of trip on their own too? No, they're coming with us on our vacation. Wait, you don't already know about this? I thought I told you about this. Did I not? No, no you didn't. I've heard absolutely nothing about this as a matter of fact. You are joking, right? Do you really plan on bringing them along? Without even asking me? This is our vacation we're talking about. Okay. And what's your point? It's going to be basically impossible to find time to travel with them after we get married. I think it's a good chance to get out and do something with my parents. Come on, they're super excited about it. You don't want to take that from them, do you? I don't think you get what I'm trying to say. Them coming isn't the whole problem. The problem is that you didn't consult me about it at all. How do you think that would be okay? My bad, okay? I knew you would object to it if I asked you. Obviously, I would have to object to it. I was looking forward to going with just the two of us. Wasn't that the entire point? You didn't tell me anything about your parents going. That's why I'm telling you right now, okay? What's done is done. There's no point in arguing about it. They've already got plane tickets and everything. How could I possibly tell them that I changed my mind now? Where are they even going to stay? There's no way you plan on cramming four people into one hotel room. Are you expecting them to find their own place to stay? Don't worry, I already thought about that. That's why I wanted to choose our hotel room. I made sure to reserve a room for four people. I don't like that you didn't consult with me at all. But I'm not going to waste my time arguing with you about it. Since you seem to have made up your mind, I guess it's late for me to try to say anything about it. That, and I don't want to waste your parents' time and money. I knew you'd come around. Thanks, babe. However... I have one condition. When we get there, you are going to make sure that we stick to places where we'll have plenty of alone time. This was supposed to be our final vacation before we get married. Once we get married, our lives are going to be much different than just being a couple. Otherwise, I won't be going. Period. You got that? I'm 100% serious about this. Yeah, of course. It's not like my parents don't understand that. They'll make sure not to get in our way too much. That's a promise, right? It'll be your fault otherwise. You better not let them get in the way of us enjoying our vacation together. Yes, trust me. Anthony, where are you at? You were gone when I woke up. I thought you were going to wake me up this morning. Oh, you're finally awake. I thought I'd let you sleep in and go out with my parents real quick. I was just about to buy you a gift too. I wouldn't be able to surprise you with it if you came with us. I don't care about that. Why would you leave without me? I wanted to go too. You could have just woken me up. I wouldn't have minded. Oh, come on. 
You know how you are in the mornings, especially recently. Why would I wake you up when you're always acting like a zombie from the second you wake up? I understand some people are morning people. But sheesh, you take it another level. I've been super tired. You know that. You've had me carrying y'all stuff around for the past few days. You have to realize how exhausting that gets. And it's not particularly fun either. Why do you have to act like it's such a burden? You know that my parents are getting a little older. You can't expect them to carry all of their stuff around by themselves. They could really use the help. Is it really that hard for you? Then why don't you take care of all of it? You're the reason they're here in the first place. Not only that, you promised they weren't going to be with us all of the time that they have been. If that's going to turn out to be a complete lie, then the least you could do is carry their stuff for them instead of offloading it all on me. I'm busy enough looking out for them. Would you rather do that than just carry some bags? Do you want to be responsible for something bad happening to them? This was supposed to be our vacation, remember? They don't have to be here. Stop acting like this is their vacation. I didn't come here to take care of your parents while you three enjoy yourselves without me. I'm not responsible for them in any way. They wouldn't even be here if it were up to me. Do you really need to talk about them like that? That's no way to be talking about your in-laws. You should be fine with treating them as if they're your own parents. Would you be acting like this if it were your parents? Have you at all thought about how I feel about this? I'm just tagging along as a translator and luggage carrier. If you put a single thought into how I must be feeling, then you'd realize I have every single right to complain. It sounds to me like you're trying to blame me and my parents. For the fact that you're incapable of lightening up even the slightest. That's not what I said. You're literally just putting words in my mouth for no reason. All I'm saying is that things cannot continue like this. This is not at all what I wanted our honeymoon to be like. I didn't come here just to support you guys. This is our trip. All I'm asking is that you do more. To take some of the work off of me so I can have some fun too. You may not be saying it directly. But you're making it pretty clear that you think it's our fault. Do you really hate being around my parents that much? They are the problem. At this point, I really don't care about the fact that they came with us. I just don't want to be with them 24-7 during our honeymoon. Starting tomorrow, can you please just try and make some time for just the two of us? Do you really want to go back home without having made a single good memory of our vacation together? How are they going to get around without someone who can't speak the language? I don't know any French. That's ignoring the fact that there's no way they would even be able to drag around all of their luggage. What kind of wife isn't even willing to help look out for her in-laws? It's the least you could do. Let me just ask you one thing, and I'll leave you alone. Are you really okay with how things have been going the past few days? We've come out all this way for a trip that was supposed to be for the two of us. And we have barely spent any time together. What do you mean? That's not even true. Didn't we spend some time together just yesterday when we went to look at some of those tourist attractions? I thought there was more than enough time together, no? Why are you so bent out of shape anyway? Do you not see how happy my parents have been over here with us? You're not even trying to listen to what I have to say. All you do is bring the conversation back to your parents. I'm done trying to make you understand where I'm coming from. If this is what you want, then so be it. Alright, if you say so. How about you just stay in the hotel room for today then? Don't worry about going out. What? You don't want me to meet up with you guys? Just tell me where you guys are and I can meet up you all. Just because I woke up late doesn't mean... I had to miss out on the whole day. Nah, I'm being for real. Don't worry about it. You don't want to be around my parents anyway, right? Not right now at least. That's what it sounds like to me. You're just going to make it kind of awkward if you meet up with us. If you're as tired as you make yourself out to be, 
then just go ahead and rest at the hotel. We still have tomorrow, right? Let me get this straight. You'd rather spend the day with your parents than with me? During what's supposed to be our final vacation before getting married? Haha, <laughs> of course. I'd rather be with them right now. Do you even notice how self-centered you've been acting lately? All you need to worry about is fixing your attitude. There's no way things are going to go over well if you come and meet us like this. We'll get back to normal tomorrow. Please, just stop acting like this. For everyone's sake. Okay. I see how it's going to be. Hey, where are you at? Didn't you say you were going to be staying at the hotel room today? Because you weren't feeling too good or something? I can't find you anywhere. Where did you go? More importantly, where's our luggage? What did you do with all of our stuff? Don't worry. I have all of it with me. Safe and sound. Okay, but where are you? Where did you bring all of our stuff? I'm staying with my parents for a little. Why? What? What do you mean? That doesn't even make any sense. How could you be with them? They're literally across the planet from us. Stop trying to be funny and just tell me where you really are. I told you. I'm back at my parents' home. I'm back in the US. You should be able to make your way back here on your own, right? Have fun with that. Don't worry. I left your passports and essentials. You shouldn't have any problems as long as you keep hold of all the stuff I left you. I'm just confused. There's no way you actually left us here. I sure did. Do you want me to send you some kind of proof? I can take a selfie of myself over here and send it to you real quick. Are you being serious right now? What were you even thinking? Were you even thinking? You really just left in the middle of our vacation? Our vacation? That was your family vacation. And I was just a bellhop and a translator. It makes a difference whether I'm there or not. Of course it does. What was the point of coming here if you're not going to be here? What's the point for us to be together? How do you think we feel about you just up and leaving? Oh, I bet you're so distraught. What are you ever going to do without me? Without your free translator and luggage carrier, that is. How about you just go out and find someone else to help you? You only wanted me there for your convenience. You're still mad about all of that? Is that really the reason that you left us? It's one thing to stomp off because you're being pissy. But you're crazy for taking our stuff with you? Well, it was my job to carry all the luggage, wasn't it? Remember? That was my assigned role? I was just making sure that I carried through my responsibility until the very end. Even if that meant loading it all up onto the plane with me. LOL. None of this is funny. We can't speak any French and you basically stole all of our stuff. What in the world are we supposed to do? How are we supposed to get back home? I told you that I left your passports and some essentials. As long as you have all of that, you should be able to make your way back home without any problems. You really don't need to be able to speak any French. There will be someone who will be able to help you. Do you really think it's gonna be that simple? Do you not realize how badly you've screwed us over? Whose fault is it that it came to this? I'm just giving you the opportunity to take responsibility on your own for once. Now that I'm not there for you to rely on. You listen here. When I get back, I won't be letting this go. You've seriously taken this way too far. I don't care what you have to say or how many times you try to apologize. Oh really? You're the one who should be apologizing, <laughs> lol. Just to give you a heads up, when you come back, don't expect things to go back to normal. Between us or for yourself. What are you trying to say? You'll find out when you get back. With that said, good luck getting back. I simply cannot wait to see you guys again. Yo, Brittany, we're back. I'm guessing you're still staying with your parents. I'm going to come over there so we can talk about this. My parents are coming too. Oh good, you're back. Welcome back. When do you plan on coming over? If you're coming to apologize, why don't you go ahead and bring us a treat of some sort while you're at it? 
How about you bring some cheesecake? It's my dad's favorite. Why do I have to try and make up for it? In case you still haven't noticed, you're the one who should be apologizing. My mom and dad would really appreciate it if you could explain everything that happened to them and give them an apology. And why would I do that? I don't have a single thing to apologize for. Come on now. You do realize we're about to be married, right? Is this how you think a married couple should be acting? Do you think it's okay to just abandon your in-laws in a foreign country like that? Do you think it's okay to ruin our vacation by dragging your parents along and ignoring me the whole time? Would you stop trying to blame me for one second? We've already been over this a million times. You really need to learn how to move on. Come on, we still have our wedding ahead of us. How do you expect us to go back to normal if you aren't even willing to apologize to me, let alone my parents? Are you really not going to do anything to fix this? I don't think you understand the situation we're in. The situation you caused. Let me go ahead and set things straight. Do you really think our relationship can recover from this? Because frankly, I don't. As in? As in, I've had enough. I've had enough of this. I've had enough of you. I'm canceling our wedding. I can't get married to you. I won't have anything to do with you or your parents anymore. They can feel however they want. It's not a concern of mine. Are you crazy? We've already finished planning an entire wedding. You really want to call it off? We're weeks away from getting married. Yep. It's not a matter of debate. And it really shouldn't be coming as a surprise to you. If anything, I wish I would have decided on it sooner. I really should have noticed all of the red flags before we even left. You've made it very clear what kind of life I'll have with you if I don't leave now. At this point, calling of the wedding is my only option. I suggest you go ahead and get ready to tell everyone you invited not to come. You're being way too hasty about this. You don't have to do this. We've put so much into this. What are the people around us going to think? For Christ's sake, I even asked my boss to come to our wedding. What am I supposed to tell him and everyone else I invited? Do you realize how it's going to make me look to the people at my job? You and I both know that people always jump to blame the man in situations like this. If you do this, it's going to affect me way more than it will you. You'll ruin me. If that's what you're worried about, then I wouldn't worry about it too much. That ship has sailed. Rest assured, you haven't one thing to worry about in that regard. What do you mean? I'm saying you're going to make it look like I'm the problem. Everyone's going to think I did something wrong. Look like you are the problem. And everyone at your job already knows. You don't have anything to gain by worrying about that. How do they know? What did you do? Please don't tell me you've been out here telling everyone about our personal business. Well, I mean, I am still technically your fiancé, right? For now, at least. I figured that calling off the wedding might cause some trouble for your friends and co-workers. We wouldn't want that now, wouldn't we? So, I made sure to let them all know ahead of time. What have you been saying about me? Let them know what? Oh, you know, how our vacation went, how you decided it was a good idea to bring your parents along, and to use me as a personal servant when you weren't outright ignoring me. Really about everything, I guess. You've taken this way too far. You really went out and told them all of that nonsense? Of course I did. I also let them know that the wedding is cancelled. It's only the polite thing to do after all. The earlier they know, the better. Oh, and don't worry about the venue. I went ahead and let them know about the cancellation. We still have to pay the cancellation fee though. Be sure to send me your half of the cancellation fee. How could you ruin our marriage like this? Do you realize how this is going to affect me? What am I supposed to do from here on out? I don't know. Why are you asking me? Figure that out on your own. Is that so hard? In the end, I would cut Anthony out of my life for a kid. Despite how much he resisted, I went ahead and officially cancelled the wedding. 
Thankfully, my parents were very supportive of me throughout this process. When I explained to them what happened, they were furious. It was really awkward and inviting everyone to our wedding. But a few days of being uncomfortable to save a lifetime of frustration is fine with me. We even managed to get Anthony pay all of the cancellation fee. He was the one in charge of reserving the venue after all. And all of this was kind of his fault. All I wanted was not to have to deal with someone like that in my life anymore. That alone made it more than worth getting divorced. On the other hand, things haven't been going too great for my ex-fiancé. Anthony ended up quitting his job. I think that he had finally had enough judgment from his co-workers. But he has no one to blame but himself. I only tell them the truth about what happened. I only show them Anthony's true nature. And any normal person would be at least a little hesitant to be friends with someone like him. Not even his existing friends really wanted to take his side. Really, the only people left on his side are his parents. But his parents hardly deserve any sympathy either. There is no way they didn't see what was happening to our relationship over those few days. Apparently, rumors of our catastrophe of a vacation have even made it far enough to reach Anthony's parents' circles. I bet from now on, they'll always be known as the parents who ruined their son's marriage. At this point, he and his parents barely have anyone left. But I don't really feel bad for them in the slightest. Of course, there were also people who tried to blame me or talk me out of going through with a divorce. People told me all kinds of things. That's just what it's like being married. You need to learn how to put up with stuff like that. They'll just have to be able to overlook some things. I'm sure he never had any ill intentions. But nothing that they say would change my mind. I'm sure their hearts are in the right place. But I didn't need to hear any of it. My mind was already set. I have no regrets leaving him. And I have no sympathy for what it did to him or his parents' reputation. I'm certain he never would have been capable of fixing his glaring issues, no matter how hard I pushed him to work on himself. I don't even want to imagine what life would have been like if I had stayed married to him. I don't blame people around me who were just trying to be helpful or insightful. But I don't think they fully understood what it was like to deal with Anthony. From now on, I'm going to put myself first and live my life to the fullest. I don't need anyone in my life who's going to hold me back from living out a happy, fulfilling life.